Before we get started on this video, this is probably going to be the last regular video of the Grand Bazaar series. There will still be Grand Bazaar videos in the future, but I'll be going through most of the days off camera and only make a rare video or two here or there when there's something to show, such as Luna Crawling or a new random event. I didn't plan on ending it here when I started the stream two days ago, which is why I'm recording this part after the fact. What this means is that we need a new series to take the place of the Grand Bazaar series. The two suggestions for this are Sunshine Islands and Tale of Two Towns. I made a Twitter account specifically to post a poll about this, and you can find a link in the pinned comment if you're watching this in the eight hours that it's up before the stream. But if you don't use Twitter, and I don't blame you, you can just comment which one of these you'd prefer instead. Oh, and my recording hard drive filled up while recording this, so the video is taken directly from the stream. If you notice a dip in the video or audio quality, that's why. Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyr Town. I hope your day is going wonderfully. For this episode, we have the Bazaar, and we may or may not be getting to 100%. Uh, getting the Bazaar to 100%. Um... There is a question of whether or not that will happen, but I did some checking, I did some calculations, and the the total value of what we're bringing to the bazaar is over 400,000. And we only need about 280,000 in order to in order to expand it. So there is that possibility, but there also is the possibility that we won't be able to sell all the stuff that we need to sell in order to expand the bazaar. Um, I didn't actually check the trees, and I think I might have forgotten to collect the eggs when I was doing my calculations, but those, those shouldn't account for the bulk of it. The bulk of it is in those two emerald bracelets that we have sitting in the manufacturing windmill. Not to mention the pu'er tea and the good butter and all that kind of stuff. Speaking of, the good butter, that's going to be a major contributor, assuming that it doesn't... Assuming that we're able to actually sell all of it. So, we'll have to see, but for now, uh, I think we're just going to head out so that we can have as much time selling stuff as possible. We gotta be careful because those dog, our doggos like to follow. Likes the, our doggos like to follow us, and um, yeah, if they if they jump over into the tree area, then they won't be hurting the animals. As uh, as we learned, I think it was last episode actually. So we'll get in here. We'll get the pu'er tea. We'll get the good butter. And this is just, this is taking up so much inventory space. We gotta collect the weeds, though. We really, will, really want lots of high-quality fertilizer. But anyway. We just don't have the inventory space for nearly as much stuff as I'd like. But, I mean, we're getting all of our crops to five stars, and, like, one of the main issues with our inventory space and our storage space specifically has been uh, the whole thing with with the multiple different qualities of crops and the multiple different qualities of animal products has not helped either. I don't think there's anything else going on this episode except for the fact that summer is going to end. We're going to be doing the last day of summer, which also means that it's the last day that Amir will be here until winter. Alright, so you see... Each of these emerald bracelets are 63,360. And so that's going to be representing the bulk of our our path to 100% this episode, if we manage to achieve that. We'll see. Although you'll note, it doesn't even get us halfway by itself. So, it just kind of shows the importance of you know, farming. I'm sorry, listen! Everyone is trying to buy from me right now, okay? There, there are bound to be a few delays. 
I'm sorry. Good butter. Or I guess I should say, Jersey butter. Mommy, Daddy, where are you? <sighs> are you lost? I'll help you find I'm your parent. No, no, no. I'll help you find them. Really? Thank you. Hey, it's my mommy. Thanks. And nothing of value was lost. And we got a little reputation boost from it, too. Are lost children in Japan just that common? Is that... Because you see it all the time. S -s Sorry. I, I was wondering if you knew where Floyd was. Down and to the right. Thank you so much. I I'm a very big fan of Lloyd, you see. Thank you again. Yeah, ladies love Lloyd. What can I say? I know. I know, I'm sorry. Listen. Listen! Okay, so this is this is this is very good for our chances of uh getting to one hundred percent the bazaar. And actually, uh we're what? Fifty-five thousand away or so, something like that. Oh, how cute. Would you give me this milk? Sure, take it. You mean for free. Could you buy it, please? You got me. You win. As a reward, I'll pay double for this instead. Okay. So I guess that's not the way... For some reason, I was thinking that the other response, the other no response, uh, only gets you five reputation, but I guess that's the one that only gets you five reputation. Although, given that we're in the home stretch to getting the bazaar to 100%, it's... Hey, Zach, could you show me where the laughing straw is? Wrapping stall, go left. Thanks, one sec. Ah, that's better. My false teeth fell out. No one, don't, no one could understand. That's, that's not what I was going for. Whoopsies. <laughs> I didn't mean to give him, like, that kind of accent. But okay. Um... Or what? Ten... Not even... I think we got it. I think we've got the bazaar to 100%. Um, if it wasn't before, it is now. I couldn't remember the exact amount. I should have written it down somewhere, but... There you go. The bazaar... Uh, next bazaar will be the 100% bazaar, although... Well... Oh, you look just like my grandchild. Could we talk for a bit? Uh, he's standing in front of the milk, and I actually don't want to sell all of the milk. <sighs> I guess I could just go ahead and grab some from the cows. Really? Well then. Ah, that was a nice chat. To show my thanks, I'll buy all of your milk. Uh, so we're gonna need to head back to the farm and milk a couple of cows. Uh, we only need to wrap three milks because, as previously mentioned... Um... What's his name? Uh, Amir is going away in a couple of days, so... We'll only be able to give him milk for the next few days, and so... It shouldn't be an issue. Hey, have you seen the owner of our shop? She's up into the right. She's up into the left. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks for the help. Um, yeah, but if you've got something... Ow! Ow, ouch, ouch, ouch! Uh, are you okay? Did you say something? This is... That's why you don't run. I mean, that's a good lesson to learn, but are you okay? I, I'm fine. I'm not gonna cry because I'm a big boy. Aw. The heat is pretty bad. Are you okay? I feel fine. You're making it worse. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm so happy we got the bazaar to 100%. You're making it worse. What did you say? Fine, I'm happy. It's a compliment. Hey there, we're the famous comedy duo Lucy and Ricky. Thank you for inviting us to perform here today. Ricky, where's Lucy? What? Lucy's not here? Where did she go? I can't do this by myself. Come back here, Lucy. You got some splaining to do. I really wish that guy had been... He had come to, to talk to me about my eggs rather than the milk. Hey, I want one of these corn. Can I have one? Go on, take one. And the money... What? No way. Uh, take one. Yay, thank you. You're the best. Bye. Not actually a vegetable, though, so I'm not going to celebrate kids eating their vegetables. 
that's grain. Corn's a grain. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and close the stand. We're gonna go and we're gonna milk some cows and then we're gonna rush back here and do the shopping. And uh, yeah, we've met the goal and more and we got to 100% the bazaar or at least, well, so obviously the bazaar isn't going to be upgraded to 100% right now, but it will be upgraded to 100% tomorrow morning, essentially. That's when, that's when Felix gives us the good news that the bazaar is the best in the world. Welcome to Lucky Lotto. Care to play? One ticket is 300G. Alright, let's see how lucky we are right now. Fourth place prize, an egg. Yeah, because I don't have enough of those already. Please. Please, game. And a brick. And another brick. So apparently our luck is not so great today. Dang. Or is it? Third place prize, bottled walnuts. That's decent. And last one. Second place prize. Good but <laughs> Another thing that I already have more than enough of. Alright, um... Doesn't look like Diego has anything we need. Welcome, welcome. Would you like our fortune, Red? It's just 100G. Should I tell me my fortune? Abracadabra, what fate lies in wait for you? You may have a chance meeting where you least expect it. So, did that enlighten you at all? Feel free to come back any time. But where would I least expect a chance meeting? I don't know. Um, and it doesn't look like Enrique has any silkies for us. Not any baby silkies. And remember, we're not going for the adults because, oh my goodness, it took so long to get the Tau Trio up. And hey, look! Cat Bell. We're gonna buy, like, five of these. Just so that we always have a backup. We've now lost three Cat Bells in this, in this playthrough, and... Yeah. That seems to be more likely to happen as we as we continue on. And I don't think there's anything here for us. I think it's really just the bamboo dumplings. Yeah. Pretty sure we've tried onion soup. Pretty sure we tried carpaccio and cappuccino. Alright. And Lloyd's not selling anything we want. Hello there. Welcome to Isaac's Info Center. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? Is 100G okay? Sure. Well, this is just a rumor, really. Fish have their favorite places, too. The water upstream is quite different from the water downstream. Try fishing all over town and to find out where, what fish live where. If any other hot info comes along, you'll certainly hear about it. Okay. And then we get these bamboo dumplings. Oh, hello. Welcome to my food stand. Yeah, we've got... Wait. Carpaccio? So, both Nelly and... And Claire sell carpaccio? Huh. Okay. Anyway, we'll get some bamboo dumplings. I don't know, 15? 16? I actually don't know who we've got to give bamboo dumpl give recipes to. I know Claire's one of them, even though her favorite thing is not a recipe. Okay, we've got 45 minutes to sell anything we can, and so we're probably not going to actually sell anything, but... Might as well give it a shot. And I'm pretty sure we still lost money. Let's see, 800, 460, so 1260, 1410. So yeah, we lost 50G gambling. Remember, kids, gambling does not pay off. And yeah, everyone's leaving. Everybody's leaving. So uh, our chances of actually selling anything at all are, is pretty much non-existent. Oops. I'll keep selling. Oh, could I have one of these good butter? You can have it for free. You can pay double for it. No, you can't have it. Here, you can have it for free. Really? Wow, you're the nicest person I've met in my life. That might make up for uh, our little stunt with Antoinette earlier. And so we might actually win on reputation in spite of that. Alright, that's done. 
This is him. Yes, we've met the goal, including the goal of getting the uh, bazaar to 100%. Well, that's it for the bazaar today. Thank you everyone for coming. I hope we'll see you all again next time. Good morning. Let's make today a great one. And uh, you know what? I'm pretty sure it is gonna be great. Let's go ahead and head to the bizarre results. Let's hear those bizarre results. Are you sharing? The results of the bizarre are announced today. Yes. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre results! Our top three earners in third place with 124,000 G. Wilbur, congratulations! In second place with 166,000 G. Lloyd Store, congratulations! And in first place with 387,870G! Ray, congratulations! If only I had sold one or two more items, I think it would take a little more than that. Maybe if you had stocked gold and silver instead of copper and adamantite. Just saying. I'll beat you next time. You know what? You probably will, Lloyd. You probably will. And the person with the happiest customers was... Ray! Customers say that they can tell you really care about your job! Uh, Non-customers, that's what you do when you really care about your job. You old and the town proud! Keep up the good work! Now our bazaar is best bazaar in the world, too! Hmm? Now our town's bazaar has regained- No! It has become better than it ever was before! It was a long road. It's thanks to you all for working together to support the bazaar! I think everybody's closer to each other now. I can still recall how sad it was to see our bazaar lose steam. We were worried that the bazaar would shut down. Yes, Mayor would cry his eyes out. I remember taking him home from the ca from the cafe. Father, I'm very happy for you. This, this is wonderful. I'm so proud of our town. I have a situation, Mayor. Everybody, listen up. Um. Who? Oh. There it is. What's going on, Stuart? Is something wrong? One moment, Mayor. Word of our Grand Bazaar must have gotten out. There's a whole crowd of people here who want to see it today. What? Yes, but well... There's no bazaar today. What do we do? We do what we have to do! We can't let those people go home unsatisfied! Ray! And everybody else! Let's open our bazaar for these customers who traveled here to see it! So, I never actually got the bazaar to 100%. Uh, who's selling stuff at my stall and why do they have gold milk? There are so many people! In my original playthrough, I never got um, the bazaar up to 100%. I never went for a 100% playthrough, but... One.
Hey, there's Pierre. Okay, who is selling chocolate party cake at my stall? Oh dear, a bazaar has never had this many people. Dad, don't worry. We can handle it. She's right. I'm not going to be able to do Wilbur's voice correctly. She's right. This is no time for doubt. That's right, Maya. Customers are waiting. You're right. There's no time to waste. Everyone, let's show them the grandest bazaar they've ever seen. Can I can I just keep this chocolate party cake and just, is that paella? Is, can I keep the paella? Because I, I would really like to give Lloyd some paella. I'm just saying. Okay, we're going to be skipping the credits. I'm sorry. Today was fun. It's late. I should get to bed. Um. Okay. Well. Huh. That's not. That's not great, actually. <laughs> that's not great for us. Today is the last day of the month. Most crops will die if they aren't harvested. So yeah, I never got the bazaar to 100% uh, before. I, I never knew that there was that scene, and I also never knew that the scene took all day. Like, literally all day. Like, you wake up, and then you go outside, and then there's that scene, and then the day ends. I, I never knew that, and um, I have to think that our plants are not going to appreciate that. Good morning. Let's make today a great one. But I guess if you get the bazaar to 100% in your playthrough, to keep that in mind. Um, because, well, yeah, our crops aren't doing so well. Okay. You there, Ray, I'm coming in. Um... Oh. I'm going back to my country for a while. It's my father's birthday. I don't want to go. But I don't want to disrespect my father. Anyway, I'll be gone for a bit. I'll be back by winter. See you then. I thought that was a 100% in the bazaar event that was a, that was happening, but no. Uh, yeah, so that's just letting you know. And, and I guess we didn't trigger it yet last year. I don't know. I don't know whether we didn't trigger it last year because uh, we didn't have a mirror at enough high enough friendship, or because we just didn't walk into the house at the right time uh, to trigger it. But anyway. Yeah, but that lets you know what's going on with Amir, why he's gone, all that. Now that the bazaar is at 100%, I guess there is a question of whether or not the Grand Bazaar series should end as it is. Um, my original intention was going to be to keep it going until, until we had gotten all of the random events done, finished the bug decks, finished the fish, fish decks, etc. Gotten everybody to 10 hearts. But there's a lot of stuff that about that that I can do off, off camera, right? And then I can just show the, the random events, you know, trigger those random events. Um when we've met the requirements and all that kind of stuff. 
And so there is that question of whether or not I should move on to something else. Whether, and if, if I do move on to something else, what should it be? Should we be going for Sunshine Islands or Tale of Two Towns? Um, those are kind of the, the main, the main two competing right now. I don't know. I think that, I think that event was a, was kind of a good, is a good way to cap off the, the journey to 100%. Yeah, Tale of Two Towns is the one that's cook that's focused on the cooking thing. Where you need to uh, uh, compete in the cooking festival in order to finish the main storyline of it. It's not really... That particular part is not really looked upon very fondly. By people. By a lot of, uh, a lot of fans. Welcome home, honey. It's our anniversary, so I prepared us a meal to celebrate. Shall we sit down and enjoy it? <laughs> Did I surprise you? I made a lot of stuff for our special day. Well, let's eat. Today was fun. It's late. I should get to bed. What, whatever you guys think, whatever you guys want to see, let me know. Right, let me know in the in the comments below. Should should the series semi end here? I mean, I'll still I'll still be showing off like the random events and things like that, but I'll be doing everything else off camera. Um. But yeah, let me know. Uh, or if you want to see it continue for about two more years in game because that's how long it's gonna take to get all the random events cuz little Luna here still has to grow up to get them but anyway uh, that's gonna be it for this episode and maybe for the series um, but thank you for, for watching thank you for having me I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope the rest of your day is a good one and I will see you later Bye.